You're watching Morning Mix, sharing smiles and serving others opportunities. That's the focus of Hunting for the Cure, a 501c3 nonprofit that's dedicated to helping children fight cancer through the great outdoors. They have an event coming up on May 25th where all are invited to support a wonderful cause. Keith Still is with Hunting for a Cure and he joins us this morning to tell us a little bit about the organization and what's happening on the 25th. Keith, thanks for joining us. Thank well, thanks you. guys, thanks for having me, Good I appreciate it. Absolutely, uh, it's a great organization that you're part of here. Take us back to the beginning where uh, Hunting for the Cure started and why. Well, uh, the simple answer here, Cliff, is, is God. In 2011, we were blessed uh, to have property uh, in a lodge and um, 11 bedroom, 13 bath lodge. and. Um, Spent about a year praying about what to, to do with this property, and uh, uh, one night God gave us the answer. Uh, and so uh, we hosted our first hunt. We had three kids. Second hunt was 11, and our third hunt was 32. Uh, and so we've been doing that ever since, uh, you know, and trying to, to bless families in, in, a, in a time in their life where it's pretty dark. That's awesome. And Keith, uh, how does the group assist families dealing with childhood cancer? Uh, well, we, we, we help in many ways. Um, obviously, the, the foundation where we began is, is hunting and fishing. We do out, we call it outdoor adventures. Um, not just here in Georgia, but we travel all over the U.S., so we fly families as well. Uh, all our adventures are completely free. Uh, and what's pretty unique about it, it's not just the child that's diagnosed, but the siblings as well get to participate. Right. Mm -hmm. So when a child is diagnosed in a family, metaphorically speaking, the family is diagnosed. The children are affected True. and the parents are affected. I think a lot of people sometimes don't keep that in mind. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and then, like as you said, many events throughout the country and also in this area. You've got one coming up soon. This is the Oyster and Pig Roast Charity event. Uh, tell us about that. Absolutely. This is uh, the first event we've done here in Augusta. Um, uh, we partner with Doc's Porch Side of Washington Road. And so May 25th from uh, uh, 1 to 6, uh, there'll be live music, all you can eat, oysters and barbecue and raffles. 100% um, of the proceeds goes back to toward families that, that we host um, with children fighting cancer. And, and how many children and families have been assisted by hunting for the cure? Oh, good grief. Uh, a lot. Um, I mean, hundreds. I mean, a, a lot. That's I don't know the exact answer, number, but, but it's a lot. That is a great answer, yes. Uh, and so uh, I've been doing it since 2011. Um, you know, as, as I share with, uh, with a lot of people, um, we call it sharing smiles. Uh, and, and we try to, to make a difference. We, we all have a, a, a journey in life, the book. And every morning we get an opportunity to write a chapter. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, we look at it as, as trying to share a smile with a child. What chapter are we going to write for them this, this moment, this time? Um, so we've hosted many and have, have, have been a small part in their life, which is, which is pretty major. What's great, what a great way to, uh, to come across with that. Uh, what's the process for a family that would like to become involved if they need assistance, or maybe someone who would like to become involved and participate in donating? Um, well, they go to huntingforthecure.org. They can go there and register uh, and see all the services that we do. Um, and at the same time, they can also register for the, the oyster roast, pig roast there as well. And where would, you like to see, where would you like to see Hunting for the Cure advance to in the next few years? If, if we focus on uh, to serve more families. I have I have over 120 kids right now registered waiting to do something. Wow. That's, that's a that's, lot for just that's, three. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, yes, sir. Let's uh, go ahead and recap the information again. That's going to be happening on May 25th. Go ahead and uh, tell us again about the oyster and pig roast. May 25th, uh, uh, oyster pig roast at Doc's Porch Uh It's from one uh, to five. I'm just going to be one to six. Live music, uh, all you can eat oysters and barbecue, uh, and raffles. The proceeds from that go back to, to families with children fighting cancer. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Come on out and have sure a good time. Check them out. All right, Keith. Thank you so much. Keith, for thank you so much. much. Thank you.